Are you the one I've been waiting for? You might be. I hope so. It's been so many cycles since I was her. Do I even still remember hope? I wasn't sure you'd ever turn up. The odds just kept getting longer. I guess I've been losing faith. Or well, they've been gaining power. You have to reach me. Everything depends on your survival. Master this world. Make allies of its many creatures. Grow your strength and skill. Explore this place like I did so long ago. Put the pieces together and find me, Survivor. You may be the only one who can. game and have a stable <laughs> game that I can play without it crashing continuously. So this is day one on the island. Um, I, I want to set up a little uh, house here on this little cove here. I feel like with the arc extended and no cryopods it's pretty important to uh, have access to nearby water. Eventually I'm going to build a raft to get around and pick up a few things. So here's day one, and I'm just basically collecting up my first bit of wood, thatch, and stone so I can make my basic tools. I'm going to try to set up a small platform so I can get started out of that. I'm going to do a hatchet and a spear and try to make some spears because spears are pretty important right off the first part of the game uh, the only settings that I've changed are I did up my harvest level to 1.49 so I get a little bit more wood, thatch, and things like that when I harvest. Other than that, I have not changed any of the original settings. I'm pretty much going to play Vanilla Arc. I did up the harvest just a little bit because uh, I started a few more playthroughs when I was having trouble with the game. It wasn't stable and kept crashing. And the only thing that I found tedious was gathering, so I did up that to 1.49. I haven't changed my XP setting or anything else like that. I chose to leave everything as is. Um, if it gets to the end to the point where I think I need to have more harvest, I might do it a little bit higher, but other than that, I didn't want to change any of the original settings. And you also notice that on most of my videos, I don't do any voiceover. Um, I've decided to try to do it again. With this series, um, I do have some speech problems with some speech impediment, so that's why you don't hear me talk a lot on my videos. But this one, this series, I'm going to try to have a little voiceover. So my lisp is pretty bad because of some uh, cancerous growths I had removed from my mouth about a year ago. So I apologize for that in advance, but I was going to give it a go as to voicing over the series and see if I can get a few more views because my views are pretty low. Well. 
So we're doing some spears. That's pretty much your first basic weapon. Um, I'm probably going to show as much as I can of everything that I do. I don't plan on editing it out too much. Probably will spare you with some gathering and things like that. But this first episode will most likely be the absolute unedited footage. Try to make as many of these spears as you can because they break very easily. And I'm also still messing with some of my uh, recording volumes and things like that, so we'll see what happens. We put my points in weight in the beginning. I'm trying to get my basic thatch foundation. Uh, probably should make a sleeping bag, but I don't have any hide yet. Sometimes I don't use all the points if I don't need to. Again, I'm messing with my volume on my microphone, having a little bit of trouble. One of the new features I really like is that you can track. The resources you gather, the little box over there, and tell you how many you can make. Like right now I can make one batch foundation. That's a great new feature. storage box going so I can have some storage. Still messing with my devices, trying to see if the sound is all right. So just staying with your basic gathering here, trying to get some fiber. Get some basic armor going. Couple of thatch foundations so I can get a, the start of the starter house going. I think the key without cryopods is you're going to have to make multiple bases throughout the map and you're going to have to make them all kind of accessible by a boat or flying. That's kind of my plan. So this area right in here is where I think I'm going to start. Of course there's my buddy the Inker is there. We will pay me a visit shortly. So I'm just gonna try to put down. Sure enough, there he is. Uh, I don't have anything to mess with him right now. Uh, spear is 
underwhelming. So I'm gonna run out in the water and hopefully he'll leave me alone. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. We'll see. I think he's gonna quit messing with me so I can try to go back and rebuild. Normally they're much more annoying than that, but I have no way to even fight him right now and win, so looks like he's gone, so I'm gonna go back and try to build what's my 4x4 platform here. Just your basic gathering here, nothing too exciting. Just want to get a small starter base going, some place to put a bed down as soon as I high enough to make one. Start thinking about a campfire. So it'll be time to make some food soon. Right now I'm doing pretty good. I'm not gonna mess with a water bag or anything because I'm right on the water. I haven't adjusted the drinking or eating, so I'm probably gonna have to drink pretty often. up a storage box. So I got about 10 points. I'll probably save it for right now. Let's see what level this guy is. 30. I also I did adjust it to where my animals should spawn, my dino should spawn in increments of five. Um, I have it on all the max difficulties, so hopefully I'll get 100 and 150 animals, dinos. Just picking these dodos up because the hide and the meat, it's easy to pick them up. up 23 high not too bad Let's see if I can pick this one off so those are your probably your first source of meat and hide <laughs> always like the way they toss that when you go between things Yeah, 
see I'm thirsty. That was pretty quick, so I'm gonna that's why I'm staying close to this little cove here. I like this little cove because it's got some shallows there. I think with the new building system I can actually build a dock out. I believe I can still get a raft in there. Oh there's a nice Don't have anything to tame him with yet. But if he sticks around, I definitely will try to poke him later. Level 20. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna, um, because this is the island, it's hard to find higher level. So I'm gonna start building the basic, put down a storage so I can quit carrying all this stuff around. I'll put down a campfire so I can start my campfire. Start cooking some meat, so I'm probably going to need to eat shortly. I'll put all my berries and stuff in there for now. There are some new berries there. I don't know what they're used for. I think most of them are just for uh, dyes, which I'm not a big user of the dyes. So even though I have seen where you can now paint your house, wooden parts different colors, so we'll see what it looks like. Uh, I'm just not sure what I'm going to do here. Definitely want to start a mortar, mortar and pencil and narcotics as soon as I can. I'm just trying to figure out what level I'll start getting good stuff at. I'm looking for, I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Probably better weapons because I'm pretty short on the weapons right now. So we're going to, maybe we're not, we'll do a sleeping bag. Time to put down a sleeping bag, even though at level 7 I'm going to be able to get a simple bed. So I might hold out and wait till the next level, which should be here momentarily. And make a simple bed, and that's permanent, where the sleeping bag is only in one use. Pretty much run around looking to see what level animals are. Dinos, level 20. So far I haven't seen anything that's worth taming. I don't know about other teams anymore. Because there's no cryopod, it's going to be interesting to see transporting your uh, teams across the map. That's why I think this is a good spot. I'll be fairly close to one of the obelisks, the red one. Should be able to get to it without too much trouble. Uh, I'm probably going to end up building a base around one of them because, I don't know, I'm probably going to build a series of bases. Definitely probably going to put one on Herbivore Island because I need to collect metal there. Probably one around the middle of the map because that's another source for metal. Oh, Diplo, don't. Well, I got, sp I got spears. So I should be able to handle a Diplo. So we're going to try to pick him off because we need the, it'd be nice to have the hide. Trying to figure out where he is and what level he is. Don't want to pick on one too high. I can't see him, he's hiding. Nice smoke there. Something you wouldn't have seen before. I'm playing on them, but I think high settings. I have a pretty good setup. Pretty good video card. As you can tell on the red numbers on the top, I'm getting about 20, 25 FPS, which is fine. Here he is. Key to him is when you see his things flare out, he's going to spit at you to try to move left to right. So you don't see it. come out you want to move left to right to dodge the, 
the poison that he spits out. That way you don't get hit by it and just keeps you out of trouble. Ah, oh, so we should be able to make a simple bed and see what we need. And so I can get a bed up here that will be permanent. That's where I am on the map. I don't know what that player symbol is. I see a lot of megalodons out there. And you see I spend a lot of too much time thinking sometimes. So again, this is a good thing about this. You can right click, click track. And then you will see what you need to make the bed. So I need all those items. So I'm going to go collect them up. See if I have any meat. The rest of that. Start saving my charcoal gunpowder. We're going to go out and collect up what we need to make a simple bed and that will have, give us a respawn point as I stated before I think my strategy is going to be to build quite a few bases throughout the map because without cryopods you're going to have to traverse the map with your dinos in some areas that could be a real pain I am going to end up building a base around one of the obelisks, if not all three of them. Well, at least the green one and probably the red one. I don't know, the blue one is a whole different animal. Because it's in the uh, mountains where it's cold, snow. Probably end up building a small type base around most of the caves that are on the lands. Because you want to have a respawn point. And you're probably going to build some bases around your resource areas. Oh. Middle of the map. The middle of the two mountains where there's a lot of metal. So I think my strategy is going to be a lot of small bases. Which I don't mind because I'm a builder. I like to build. And with the new building system I think you have a lot of options now. So we're going to try to start closing this in with some thatch. Now that we have a bed down, still can't really have a club. Really not any good in good weapons. Time to make some boots. So now I'm gonna tag that and track it. Well, no, I guess not. Yeah, I'm going to track the wall and the doorway with the building system. To me, is 100% better with another Diplo. He saw me, so... So, see right there, we're looking at that. The spit of poison that hits me, that's good. I'm going to avoid the poison at all costs. So far it looks like my gathering um, setting is about what I want it to be. I don't want it to be too easy, but I found leaving it on one is really tedious. So we're pretty much getting to the end of episode one here, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not sure about the voiceover still. I'm going to give it a go for a couple of them. So if you see anything with the volume or the noise or an adjustment that needs to be made let me know in the comments below i think my game volume is a little high so i'm going to turn it down next time once i finish the track over i'll probably listen to it to see what it sounds like at least i hope my voice is a little bit higher than the game volume it's been a long time since i've voiced over any of my videos So I'm going to box this, bug, this thing, uh, try to box it in.
you know, you push um, R, you can change the different uh, door frames, window frames, solid wall. I'm just going to go with the standard door frame, I think. Nope. I'm going to put the door there, so I'm probably going to pick it up. Which is another nice feature that you have now. You can pick stuff up. Gonna make three or four of these. I'm gonna get a level. Mm, probably should make a cooking pot soon, I guess. Oh, the wooden club. Really not one of my favorite weapons. Not very effective. Don't need to go out, collect up some more thatch. Close it in. Oh, I have four of them. There we go. I'm going to make a door. much better building system they improved it so much that I've seen some great builds out there I'm going to go ahead and close this in that's going to be the end of episode one we just got started getting our basic build basic tools basic platform I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in episode two have a great day steady Claudio out